So yesterday Wolves confirmed the permanent signings of Leo Bonatini and Ruben Vinagre and I'll get to Leo Bonatini in a minute but I'll start with Vinagre because I think he's a tremendous signing for Wolves. The, the potential that he showed at the first half of last season was incredible. He showed that he could play at the championship level quite comfortably at the age of 18. I think it was a real shame that we didn't get to see a lot of him in the second half of the season. The last time we saw him in fact was when he got sent off against Swansea. But down that left side I think Barry Douglas played so well in the second half of the season particularly around Christmas time that it was not possible for Vinagre to break into the team which was a shame I think there's possibly that game against Hull where we could have seen him come in to play at right wing back or Douglas switched across or something like that but in the end we only got to see him a little bit but if you take the game against Burton and the game against Manchester City, those two games for Vinagre were superb. And at the age of 18, I think he's got such a massive future ahead of him. And for us to have him as our player, uh, I think is tremendous. I would make sure the next season he's put in the gym somewhere and bulk him up and make him stronger. But he's very, very fast. He's very attacking minded. Defensively, I think he needs a little bit more work. Uh, but perhaps we could see him change into a more forward thinking player a bit like what happened to Gareth Bale back 10 15 years ago and then the capture of Leo Bonatini I think is a an unexpected signing I think everybody thought that had because he hadn't been announced and we'd sign a phobie and then Jimenez and then a phobie leave and we knew another striker would be coming in but I don't think anybody would have thought it would be Leo Bonatini and I still don't think it will be Leo Bonatini I think that I get the sense that uh, he will be moved along in a similar fashion to a Fobi, that he was Wolves think they can make a profit from him. We know that a few championship clubs were interested in him last season, uh, Villa being one of them, and perhaps Wolves think they, they can cash in on him and say, look, he had a fantastic start to the season, scoring 12 goals. There is potential there, uh, but I th he, lack of confidence or lack of form, a bit of an injury that we heard about at the end of the season uh, during the Sheffield Wednesday game at Christmas time, dislocating his shoulder perhaps, and then playing through that pain barrier for the next couple of games I think probably did him more damage than good. I get the sense from the, what's been put on social media by Bonatini himself and by the Wolves, he's been given this four year contract, a big, you know, we didn't see with a phobie him standing there with a shirt, we have now seen Bonatini with a shirt with 2022 on it, which is the year that this contract will run out. I get the sense that he's going to be part of this squad for next season, which I don't know whether that's a good thing. I think that most of the second half of the season, he showed a lack of attacking threat. He did very well linking at play between Costa, Cavaliero and Jota, but we want a little bit more than that now in the Premier League. And I do think as well that the Wolves hierarchy and Nuno want more of a goal scoring threat from their number nine or their main striker. But yeah, it was certainly two interesting signings yesterday. Uh, still very quiet in terms of other rumours at the moment. We'll see once the World Cup finishes, or perhaps now Portugal are out of the World Cup, maybe things will start rolling there. We'll see Rui Patricio perhaps next week in the Wolves training facilities, maybe. As we saw Roman Seiss come back uh, briefly last week after Morocco's exit as well. But of course they'll have extended breaks. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the Old Golden Black for more regular Wolves content. We're getting so close now to the beginning of pre-season. The 9th of July, I believe the first game is. Thank you, bye-bye.